1C S2 to make interactive content. Assalamualaikum and good day. How are you? Today, I will share something about Bansi, which is produced by Microsoft Education Center. First of all, if you as educator, you can use this Bansi beta to present your slide. Let me see how it works. Alright, here's the first screen regarding system analysis and design by myself, Nur Hafiza Ismail from the Department of Information Technology and Communication Politan Immersi in Johor for this session June 2020. Alright, if you use this policy, you can produce presentation slides. For example, in this case, I have 13 slides and you can move to autoplay if you want or you can control it by yourself. Let's look at the first slide or the second slide for this information and information system. Right? For the, the, for the information technology versus information system, right? Here we have the text for the definition of terminology and also I provide with the recording for this uh, Bansi. Let's look it together. system which refer to a system that is a set of relevant components that yields particular findings. A mission critical system is one that is important to an organization, operations and processes. In this case, uh, you can record yourself and include at the bottom part of the Bansi interface. Right, this is my recording. Right, you can increase the sound. Perhaps, of course, the system is a set of related components that produces specific results. What's results? Right, this is the second stage. Of course, educators can insert uh, your recording videos as well as the lecture session. If you want to stop, just uh, pause it for a while and go to the next part about uh, the components of information system. And here, okay, we go to the next slide that I, I just share some details of information system components. Here, uh, I just uh, take from the uh, animation of Bansi and also this kind of robot from the Bansi also for the sticker and look at this uh, click to load panorama okay we can try to load this right the panorama given for the kind of 3d images maybe about the computer or the 360 images you can enlarge it as well as, as you can or as you like or you can decrease the images right in this uh, details of information system components they have five components refer to hardware software data people and processes all right in this case um hardware what is hardware hardware as we know is a tangible thing in the physical layer of information system so can you please name it Name, right? 
For example, you have printer, you have computer, you have plotter, you have scanner, all the things that you can see, you can touch. It's a tangible thing as hardware. Number two is about software. It's a program that monitor hardware and produce desired results. Next, number three is a raw material of information system transforms into useful information. That is about data. Number four, the people, users and users who interact or end user who interact with the information system. And number five, you can include process. Right? The fifth components of information system refer to process. So what is process? So it's process defined tasks and business functions that users, managers and IT members need to perform or to accomplish specific findings. For uh, the educators information in this slide, uh, from Bansi, I also uh, include a lecture or vi a slide video. This is the example of slide video that I just explained about the details of IS components that I briefed just now. So maybe the students can, after the session of this recording, they can record again or they can watch again. Depends on the situation. Right? Depends on the needs. Because I just uh, record about two minutes for this uh, uh, details of IS components. Okay, if you want to pause, you just click pause lah. Right? Next, we can go to the fifth slide. Alright? For the fifth slide, I share about types of information. Right? Types of information system. Uh, here we have five types of information systems. Consists uh, transaction, transaction processing system or TPS, decision support system, DSS. Number three, expert information system or ESS. Number four, management information system or MIS. And last but not least, it's about office information system or OES. Right? In this slide, I also just uh, attach a simple video that uh, explains about the, the, the types of IS and maybe the students can uh, have the voice while watching for the lecture and then uh, as far as, as we concerned we can insert the animation from Bansi here about the, the worm animation and also uh, I just attach the pyramid, right? Pyramid of types of information system that consists of TPS, MIS, DSS, EIS, and also OPS. Next, we just take a look for this part. Okay, as an educator, I can uh, share something the examples of transaction processing system. Right, it has major function of system for an application system. So the students can look at this transaction processing solution. Next, also about decision support system, which uh, encompasses about uh, features like flexibility, adaptable, quick, no control use or for input and output no professional programming, support decision process, and also sophisticated modeling tools. This DSS is important because it supports business and organizational decision-making activities. Right? For this, this DSS is quite complex sequence of activities over time. Next, we can look at uh, the next part of types of information system which is management information system right for this uh, MIS is actually the computerized or digital database of financial information that program to produce regular reports on operations for every management level in a company 
right? For this kind of MIS, we also need to advocate an organization and the transaction recorded in TPS are analyzed and reported by MIS. Alright, so what is IPOU? Let's ponder. Maybe about input, process, output and user. Okay, this is about MIS. You can look at the details of the pyramid. Okay, next, look at EIS. This is another information system which is important. And it also has a specific and policy oriented special kind of DSS and normally it also known as executive support system or expert support system okay so for EIS it's about executive information system and they can do for the CEO for the decision making okay this is about OAS right this is the last types of information system which is very impressive method to process personal and organizational data and this is to support paperless office for example they can perform calculations create documents for example you can use microsoft excel or spreadsheet see you then in the next lecture do and make sure to upload via cdos lms Thank you from me, Dr. Fees, JTMK. Good luck and all the best. Don't forget to subscribe, like and share my channel, Nur Hafiza Ismail. See you then. Thank you. Assalamualaikum.